We are here now in Johannesburg. It's because we have the second tripartite summit, which will then launch the negotiations for the establishment of the tripartite free trade area. These three regional economic communities, the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, the Southern African Development Community and the East African Community, already they have achieved certain levels of integration. And all that the tripartite is doing is to build on that, then harmonize for the 26 countries with a combined population of uh, 590 million people and a combined gross domestic product of $875 billion. Make no mistake about it, I'm using the two 009 figures. As I speak, it's approaching $1 trillion. You can imagine what happens when you have that kind of uh, free trade area. When we take into account that 60% of the population of the tripartite region is under the age of 30. So you've got a young population, uh, a lot of potential for uh, economic growth. Actually, we can become uh, the locomotive for the global economy. The major economies that were driving global growth are in a recession. And we see the shift in terms of global economic power and geopolitical power to the emerging industrializing economies. If we have SME industrial policies, trade policies to facilitate that trade, then we will be able to have a, an all-inclusive, you know, free trade area arrangement. Because you can have a free trade area that is not socially and economically inclusive. And this is why under the tripartite FTA negotiations, uh, it has been agreed that you are not only going to have the governments uh, doing the negotiations, but you are also going to have the private sector and civil society also bringing their inputs in that process. Perhaps we stand on the threshold of the realization of that United States of Africa. It is the founding fathers who had this vision, and what we are simply doing as the foot soldiers, if I may say that, is simply to make sure that that vision is realized during our own lifetime. That's what uh, politics, economics, development is all about. When everything is said and done, yeah, forget about all these glaciers, the technical jargons, but at the end of the day is how do we all individually and collectively contribute to creating a better, harmonious uh, society. A society that is prosperous, a society where the divide between the rich and poor is minimized. Because these are the, 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 the values that we all cherish.